welcome to Vine's View. In the summer of 1994, a small group of people sat around a kitchen table, much like we are here today, and discussed how to create a safe and effective way for people to help their neighbors. And thus, Vine Faith in Action began by developing a simple organization where volunteers who wanted to help were matched with people who needed a helping hand. Throughout the years, the organization has grown to fit the needs of those looking to age to the max, caring for themselves and others regardless of their years or means. Vine provides older adults with services directed at keeping them happy, healthy, and living independently in their own home for as long as possible. These services include chores, transportation, peer mentoring, meals on wheels, medical equipment loan, caregiver support, and social, educational health and fitness opportunities. Each month, we will be showcasing a different program or service that Vine offers in the greater Mankato community. This month, we'll be talking about the different transportation options Vine offers. With us today, we have Carol, Vine's transportation manager, and Vine volunteer and true transit driver, Mark. Welcome. Thank you. Carol, can you start us off by telling us a little bit about the different Vine transportation options? We're kind of divided into two sections. One is our um, volunteer driver program, Door to Door, and that encompasses basically um, volunteers going to bring people who don't have transportation to what their daily needs are. So if you think about what you do with every day of your life, you go to the grocery store, you go to get your hair cut, you um, might take your cat to the vet, you need to go to the doctor appointments, to the dentist, any of those types of things. We also have with that program our People the Jobs, and that is an employment transportation program for up to six months long. And we um, do that, we provide that service for people that don't have other options. So they can't ride the public transit within Mankato, North Mankato, or they don't have another vehicle, or uh, they don't ride around with somebody else to get back and forth to work. Um, then we also have, on the other hand, our public transit transportation program that we, we started technically in 2017, but really started moving buses this year in 2018. Mm -hmm. And that covers the rural parts of Nicollet, Lesseur, and Blue Earth counties. And the different programs, um, the big difference between the two different programs of True Transit and Vines Door to Door programs are, um, one is public, correct? Yeah. So anybody can utilize. Anybody can utilize it. The other one, and that's, um, it's funded by MnDOT dollars, by state dollars. The door-to-door -door side is um, funded by some local dollars, some city or county government dollars, and some United Way dollars, and also by donations from the riders. Um, we also, um, that's very specific on who we can help, um, mainly people within the communities that already have public transit, because our public transit can't go in those areas. And um, it's also determined by, like our people the jobs is determined for a certain length of time. So you have to, um, for the door-to-door -door program and people the jobs, you have to qualify. There's yeah, there's eligibility. Eligibility. Yeah. Um, so you would have to find out more information of if you qualify right. by contacting most likely Vine. Yes. Um, whereas True Transit, you don't have to qualify. Anybody can ride can it ride. as long as it's in that, that Blue yep. Earth, Nicollet, and LeSueur counties. Right. And um, Mark is joining us as well. And Mark started off as a volunteer driver, correct? And yes. now he's been upgraded, I'll say, <laughs> to a true transit driver. Yeah. Um, Mark, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started driving for Vine and um, both the volunteer program and with true transit? Sure. Um, I retired from Centerpoint Energy after 40 years. And I, in 2014, and I just felt I had to fill a void. I, I'm not one to just sit at home. Mm -hmm. And so I contacted Vine. Uh, that was when it was on Third Avenue. Mm -hmm. And I went down for the orientation and I've been driving from, I volunteer drive really all, all, all the way up till this year. Mm -hmm. And, um, but then I started driving the True Transit bus, bus last summer, probably yeah. in June, July, we had a few runs but we really didn't get into it until the first part of the year. Mm -hmm. And then now we've got, we've got several drivers besides me, but it's, it's been re very rewarding. It's yeah. a nice experience. 
So why did you choose volunteer driving over some of the other volunteer opportunities that Vine offers? Because it's, it's the easiest one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I much prefer driving than raking. <laughs> yes, that's a good point. So, <laughs> so, and, and you really do have some real appreciative people too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You drop them off at the doctor or, or you take them grocery shopping or something, they just, they just really appreciate it because it's, mm -hmm. it's filling a need that, um, that that's not available to them. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so since your transition from um, the volunteer driving into true transit, how would you say your experience has changed as far as interacting with the customer? There's been really no difference with the interaction. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, just it's been fairly recent where I haven't, I haven't, doing it, haven't been doing any volunteer driving. Because I, I always had a Tuesday morning mm -hmm. or a Tuesday afternoon lady that I picked up in uh, St. Clair and I bring her into Vine and mm -hmm. that was that was almost every Tuesday mm -hmm. I would take her and um, it's I, I, I just enjoy the people you know there's there's I, I pick up a lot of people on the bus which is really really cool so mm -hmm. no I, I there's not much of a transition between between our clients, they're all really easy to get along with. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, Carol, can we talk a little bit more about True Transit, just because I think a lot of people maybe are more familiar with Vine's mm -hmm. um, transportation program, the Volunteer Driver right. Transportation Program, because that's been going on for since a lot longer. Since Vine started. <laughs> since Vine started, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly, um, than the True Transit. But the True Transit is different. I know that there's been a lot of questions about what's the difference between True Transit and um, the vol volunteer driver program. Um, and you know, True Transit is the brand new baby. So right. can we maybe talk a little bit more about um, how do people book a ride? Uh, right. Where is True Transit operating? How does it operate? Because it is slightly different than it the is, Vines yeah. transportation program. So True Transit is, like I said, it's funded with public dollars through the state. And so we have certain areas that we can work in and certain areas that we, um, it's slightly different. Um, so again, we're in rural parts of Blue Earth, Nicollet, and Lesseur counties. We can provide the service to anybody. It doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter um, if you have a wheelchair or not. In fact, we can take people in wheelchairs because each bus is, has a wheelchair lift on it. And, yeah, and we have even a picture, if we can share that picture yes. of the bus so people can see, um, and we have how many total buses? We have four, five buses. Okay, and all the buses are similar to this yes. one, um, yes. and they all have the wheelchair, the wheelchair lift, lift on in the back for those people who mm -hmm. need that wheelchair lift. And um, and even if you don't have a wheelchair, but you find the steps to be too tall or too hard to do, mm -hmm. you can use the lift. So you may use a walker, or you may just. Um, it just may not be easy for you. Or you may be bringing kids along and you have a stroller with you. Mm -hmm. You can use the lift to get up and down. It's basically just like an elevator, so almost easier to get into than a regular sedan. Mm -hmm. um, we also can provide the service within the three counties and um, we cannot provide two sides of the lake, uh, two sides of the ride. So we can either bring you into communities or out of communities that already have public transit. And those communities are Mankato, North Mankato area, mm -hmm. St. Peter, the city of St. Peter and the city of Lesseur. So we can bring you into those communities and back out, but we can't drive you inside those communities. Or people within those communities can go outside of the yes. city, but yep. they just can't go within that right. city. So yep. Mankato to Mankato if destination. You, one example is we've got um, people that have family outside of Mankato. And so we're bringing sisters from Mankato out to visit her sister in Elysian or mm -hmm. vice versa mm -hmm. kind of thing, bringing her, the other sister back in. We um, um, also, there is a cost to it. And the cost ranges um, from $3 and there's another service that we call premium service that is a little bit more per mile. Um, so first off, we have routes and we have in-town services in certain communities and then we have a county-wide day for each of the counties. And those services are all $3 each. 
there's certain days, there's certain times, uh, there's things to look at. Can we actually pull up the map, um, the service map, so we can share that with people? And we also know that each day is a little bit different in each county, and um, so it doesn't necessarily work well for employment transportation at this time. We're hoping in the future we can build that into the system. Mm -hmm. But we um, know, also know that there are certain specialists, there are certain things that happen on certain days that we may not be able to fit into this route mm -hmm. or in the, the community days. And so we do have what we're calling premium rides, which is a higher cost, anywhere from 6 to $10, but it gives that opportunity for people to continue to do what they need to do if they don't have other transportation means. Yeah, so if, this, if these options don't fit their schedule, yeah. they have another opportunity to hopefully mm -hmm. make something work for them. And right now, as we're starting out the program, we can be flexible and, and try to do things more personable for the people. Mm -hmm. But eventually, hopefully, we are get to the point of being so busy that we do have to um, more adhere to the times and things. But uh -huh. as we grow, we'll also be adding routes. We'll be um, changing things to fit the needs that we're already seeing. Mm -hmm. And those premium routes are giving us those, those um, plans for the future. So looking at the map and the schedule, um, I see in-town rides mm -hmm. and county-wide rides. Um, can you explain the difference between those two? This community rides, the in-town rides, is focused just specifically in that community. So in Lake Crystal, in the center, and a combination of Montgomery, Heidelberg, and New Prague. Mm -hmm. And then we also um, have one day where we do an in-town for Mapleton. So specifically in those towns, um, it might Staying be- within those city limits. Right. It might be to take somebody to the clinic. It might be to take somebody to the grocery store, to one of the other stores in town. Mm -hmm. The countywide days, when we created the schedules, we did the in-town days, we created the routes that you see over on the other side, and then we realized that you know there's still places within each county that we're not able to hit with those, with those two options. And so we created one day a week to focus on getting people from anywhere in the county to their county seat, mainly to focus on doing um, po possibly um, if you need to go to the courthouse, if you have some title work that you need to deal with, or or things like that mm -hmm. but it's it's going to those communities and helping anybody get to that community so it could still be a grocery run it could still be a clinic run mm -hmm. so the whole anywhere in the county on that specific day so we'll say monday for instance anywhere in lesseur county um, between 8 a.m and 5 p.m you can go from anywhere in lesseur county to either lesseur or lesenter right and it operates kind of as a sort of a dial a ride system sort of yeah for yeah. both of those you can, those you can let us know what time your rides. appointment is or what time you need to be where and how yeah. long you're going to be there as long as it fits within that normal operating time right. and then it's just three dollars to ride and for that day right but if that day doesn't work and you need to go at a different time then yeah that's and the others would... they the other routes don't work then uh -huh. we can talk about what other options we can offer there. it is the premium rides are subject to if we have a bus available and a driver available mm -hmm. but so far we haven't had to turn anybody away and then um, for the scheduled routes, I see on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, it looks like you're in specific communities at specific times. How does the um, pick up and drop off work for that then? We pick you up at your home and we drop you off at the location that you want to go to. Um, and so you don't need to worry about getting to a bus stop. You don't need to worry about you know um, finding a way to get from a bus stop to your location that you need to go to. It's um, we try to get you from basically door to door. Mm -hmm. The only difference on that is on Mondays, going through Nicollet, we do go to New Ulm because what we heard was the west side, or the, yeah, the west side of Nicollet County likes to go to New Ulm to do their shopping and their their medical appointments. And the only location that we do go to in New Ulm is the New Ulm Medical Center. So drop off and and pick up is there. Mm -hmm. They have another local public transit program that will assist getting you to wherever you need to go to in New Ulm. Great. And Mark, since you've been driving for True Transit, how has it been going with, um, I'm assuming you're getting some new riders, seeing some new faces on the bus. How are people liking it? Uh, occasionally I get new riders. <laughs> uh, most of, most mm -hmm. of our uh, riders are repeat. Uh -huh. And we've gotten to know them fairly well. You yeah. know? So it's, it's, it's really fun and refreshing. There's, 
I've enjoyed it, and uh, I, actually, I meet, I kind of meet new friends almost every day. <laughs> you're making new friends. <laughs> yeah. um, what would you say, so you're saying there's a lot of repeat riders. What mm -hmm. would you say to someone who is maybe in need of transportation, but the idea of public transportation is maybe a little scary? Sure. Um, what would you say to someone who is, G is interested but scared to try it? Yeah, generally, what I like to do is we carry a few of the pamphlets with. Mm -hmm. so that we've got something to hand to them. And then we give them examples, or I give them examples of what they can do. And I said, all you have to do is call, call the number on there, and then you'll talk to Todd or Carol or Marissa, and they can let you know what, w w all the details, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've had a few people like that. Also, if, if I'm picking them up at a nursing home, or if I'm picking them up at a senior high rise, or something like that, I'll give them a couple brochures to bring inside mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people that don't realize what we can do for them. Yep. And you know what, we've got um, an example would be our Lake Crystal ladies. There's about mm, half a dozen that come in to go to Walmart. Well, we're finally getting to spread a little bit and we don't drop them all off at Walmart. Mm -hmm. They may want, maybe one wants to go to the mall or hy V or something like that. I can drop off the majority at one spot and then drive over and pick up the others. We just have to make the arrangements to pick them up mm -hmm. and where to pick them up. But uh, no, it works out well. Great. Carol, can you talk a little bit about, um, so if someone's interested, how do they book a ride? And how do they pay for that ride? Booking can happen in a couple different ways. Either just call us directly and um, we can line everything up on the phone. Otherwise, we do have the ability to book a ride on our online website. And that um, just bring, walks you straight through it. It gives you the options that are listed in the pamphlet and, mm -hmm. and We'll just walk you right through which day you want, your possible locations you can go to, the times, all that kind of thing. And then that sends us an email to say this person booked a ride. And then we can communicate back and forth via email and let them know that we have it and, and, and what time we're picking them up, that kind of thing. Um, to pay for a ride, we have different options also. One, you can use cash right on the bus. We have fare boxes on each bus and you have to have the exact cash. Our drivers don't carry change. Mm -hmm. um, you can also get tokens. There's a variety of places that you can get the tokens in, in some of the communities out in the counties. Otherwise, you can get them through our, our office right at the Vine Adult Community Center. We can also um, pay for it when you book the ride. You can pay for it with a debit or credit card. Or otherwise, we do have some people who have set up accounts with us so that they each time they take a ride, we just take it out of that account and let them know when their account is getting lower on funds and they can add more to it. And um, do people need to book a ride in advance? Is there any sort of requirements there? We like at least two business days notice. Um, what we're finding though, a week ahead of time, it works really nice because we're starting to work on the routes already four to five days ahead. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice to know as soon as, you, as soon as you know you want to ride, give us a call. And are there any rules for riding the bus? We do have policies, and you can find those online also at the website. Otherwise, give us a call and we can send you out a copy. It's not very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, just gives kind of certain days that we do have days off, certain holidays, mm -hmm. um, how, to, how to call us and, and a little bit of um, um, good conduct measures. Yeah, maybe common sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would hope anyway. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Mark? Do you have any special rules for riding your bus? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing real special. They're pretty general. But you're looking at things like um, not using profanity. Uh, mm -hmm. You can't eat or drink on the bus. You can't, um, you got to be sitting. Actually, I go a little further. I wait until I hear the click of the seatbelt. Mm -hmm. If it's got a seatbelt, I want them to use it. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, think, I think you agree with that, yeah. Carol. And, uh, but basically it's just the normal. They can't be standing or walking around or anything like that. They've got to stay buckled until I, I stop the bus. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. um, can we talk a little bit more about uh, the going back to the Vine Volunteer Driver mm -hmm. Program? Um, 
and how that operates is that using buses or is that using a different form of, right. of or a different vehicle that is using personal volunteer vehicles and um, it basically operates in areas that already have public transit but the public transit maybe um, for whatever reason cannot assist that person otherwise it, we have contracts set up with counties um, to provide specific rides um, or it could be with other organizations that we have contracts with to provide rides for their for their people and um, so it's if it's something that you need help in the community give us a call now that we have the true transit running we have um, good availability in each county to provide what's a ride to those that need it mm -hmm. and we can help you determine which way that we can assist you okay and with um, the Vines Volunteer Program, I, I know True Transit is limited to operating in Blue Earth, Nickel, and Seward County, right. so we don't necessarily go outside of that right. area, but the Vine Volunteer Program will go outside of that area? There's a possibility. Okay. And if we can't do it, we try to refer you to some other um, options that are around our, our counties now. And you don't necessarily have the same hour restrictions as True Transit does Correct. because it's volunteer run, so it, Correct. it's not necessarily an eight to five sort of right. Monday through Friday right. um, thing. And are you looking for volunteer drivers? Always. Okay, can you Always. talk a little bit about what a volunteer driver um, does and uh, what, what you expect of them, I guess? Um, we call our volunteer drivers anywhere from one to three days out to find out if they're available for a ride. You can always tell us no if you're not. <laughs> we're not going to fire you. Um, but we, we just ask you to, we offer you rides and we ask you to look at your calendar and say, yep, that will work or not. We try to also have knowledge of how long the ride is, should be taking. So if you do have plans, we can work around that. Mm -hmm. um, you, at the end of the, of the ride or at the end of the week, we ask you to call us and let us know how many miles you drove, how much time it was involved in it for those specific rides. And then we do have reimbursement available for mileage to those volunteers to help them offset their gas costs. Mm -hmm. We know that the True Transit bus has the um, wheelchair lift. If someone isn't taking True Transit, but they are have a wheelchair and they're in need of assistance getting into or out of a vehicle, is that possible through the Von Vine Volunteer Program? That is not just because we are using the volunteers' own vehicles. Okay. And so, but we, there are some other options that mm -hmm. might be of use. So give us a call and we can we can again help you walk through that. And the volunteers, um, if they're interested in signing up or, or learning more even, um, what should they do? Just give you a call or is there a training process? Or is there a, a vetting yeah. um, that Each needs to occur? Each month, we, Vine has our orientation for volunteers, for new volunteers. And there's an application that you need to fill out. There, um, we do a background check, and which does include a fingerprint. Um, and then we also um, do a driver's check, background check. So we make sure all that is up to date and current and there's no red flags on that. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully within just a couple of weeks, we'll have you out driving around this community. Mm -hmm. And is there a requirement of how many drives a driver needs to do, no. you know, anything like, okay. No, no. You tell us we've got volunteers that head south for the winter and volunteers that head north for the winter. We just ask you to let us know when, when you're not going to be around just so we don't have to bother your answer you're machine. Not bugging you. <laughs> Mark, what would you say to someone that, you know, you were a volunteer driver, um, what would you say to someone who's interested in volunteering? Uh, any words of advice or words of wisdom? Yes, I, I've helped with Meals on Wheels as well, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. There's some people that would like to volunteer, but they don't really want to drive. So I kind of encourage them just, just to call up and talk and find out what, what it is. You maybe you want to volunteer in a respite center. Mm -hmm. um, but but for drivers, I I always ask them, uh, if you're interested in driving, it's it's fun and you meet a lot of n nice people and uh, I I encourage them to to call in and see what they can what they can do as far as uh, getting ready, go through orientation and and drive a little bit. I hear a lot of our volunteers say. Um, you know, consistently throughout, you know, whatever area they're volunteering in, that they almost, they feel like they get more out of volunteering than they do that, you know, the help that they're providing. Would you say that that's Oh yeah, similar? no, most definitely. And and if you can get into, uh, like I said, I, I had that one lady in St. Clair, 
and her and I actually were we were friends. You know, mm -hmm. by the time you get done doing this about a half a dozen times, <laughs> they, all of a sudden you, you they she knows a little bit of my personal life. I know a little bit of her personal life, so you mm -hmm. can ask them. You know, how did that work out or whatever? No, you enjoy you enjoy you got to enjoy people yeah. to do this, but. I, I don't think it's ever been a problem with any of our drivers. I think they've all enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Well, is there anything else either of you would like to add about either the volunteer driver program or True Transit? I, I've got a little story. And this just <laughs> happened. Okay. Um, you know, generally, I'll, uh, with True Transit, I'll pick up or this yeah True Transit, I'll pick up a normal route. Mm -hmm. Well, in the morning, I pick up a lady with two with two little kids, five and three year olds, uh, Abdullah, and I can't think of the do the daughter's name, but they're just the sweetest things on earth, and I've been giving them rides all all winter, you know, bringing them to uh, Lincoln Lincoln Community Center. Well, they dropped off, and that happens a lot, you know, where they'll drop mm -hmm. off because they moved or or something else. Well, I miss those little kids. They're so <laughs> doggone sweet. So the other day, I was dropping off the other people that I pick up at the Kling Communi Community Center, and who should be walking by but these two little kids? So <laughs> I I waved to them, and they came over to the came over to the truck or the bus, and uh, the mom says, "Well, Abdullah really wants your phone number because he wants to call you." <laughs> so I gave him a phone number so that I get to talk to Abdullah sometime. But it was it's so much fun with some of these some of these people they're just so so nice and so pretty they're just just beautiful people mm -hmm. and uh, I just love my little girl and I can't <laughs> think of that it's like Raymond or something like that and and Abdullah and it you know it, we just we carried on a lot of conversations you know we were mm -hmm. talking about horses at the at their picnic and and cows and what did they see and then of course I got to tease them a little bit <laughs> you know and you know you tease them they laugh and they, they they just interaction is just great so it seems like they're not getting a ride from a stranger no if, you know no. on a bus it's yeah. a, a friend that they're yeah. getting a ride from basically well I've told them before I'd like to keep them on the bus all day long because that <laughs> we have such a good time <laughs> well that's wonderful anything else Carol I don't think so. I think we got it all covered. And if, if people have questions, they Give should, us of call. course, call because mm -hmm. it, it can be confusing, I'm sure. Yes. And you, you guys are there to, to help walk them through the process. Definitely. And I really would encourage if they if they see a Vine bus and they'd like some information, mm -hmm. ask them. Because, mm -hmm. well, we all carry brochures and we're all mm -hmm. trying to get this up and running. Mm -hmm. And it's, we've seen some nice growth. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're really starting and the first part of the year was pretty slow mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden it's picking up more and more and people are are really using our service and I th they each, really each need it more. Yeah, yeah and they really need it too there's a definite it's, need it, out there yeah and it's you just got to talk to some of the people and let them know what you can do mm -hmm. yeah be willing to walk or drive, walk up to the drivers and ask them questions they're they're all knowledgeable or they'll let you know and they're very friendly they are. <laughs> yeah Everybody most is. of us are <laughs> yes <laughs> Well, that's all we have for today. If you'd like to learn more about transportation options with Vine, please go to vinevolunteers.com or truetransit.org, or you can just give Carol a call at 507-387-1666. Thanks for tuning in today, neighbor. We'll see you next time.